guys. So today we're going to be holding some Volkswagen cylinders with our Sunnen SV30. These are four and a quarter inch bore Volkswagen cylinders. I'm just going to do a touch up pass. They're, um, these cylinders have had a hard life. The engine always detonates. It's on a uh, Volkswagen dragster. Runs alcohol and a big single turbo. I'm going to do a two and a half tenths touch up pass just now just to show you how out of round and worn these cylinders are. If you just put the camera in there you'll see how they look now. This is how they came out. You can see the lines on here. The pistons have did have vertical gas ports in and the vertical gas ports are in the wrong place. touching the top, it's not even touching the middle of the cylinder right now. You can see where the stones haven't even touched. So now we're going to take, let me just measure to see where we're at first. So we're going to take 9 thou, a couple of tenths out of this cylinder. We can see that where it is right now that we've took two and a half tenths out and it's not round. The last two cylinders that I just finished, same engine but the other side of the engine took the same 10 thou pretty much to clean it so now we're not in the clean it pass anymore i'm going to go to the actual cycle and i'm going to load it the home head in and let it take out it's a little dwarf. yeah so you can see the picture here and if it senses, I, I can set the load of where it will dwell. And if it senses a difference in load, it will automatically dwell. That's good, boy. Where they're going to up here. This is where it started. We're gonna have the machine finish here and then we'll take out the last tenth and a half with our finish process. So we've just honed about seven thou out. So I'll make an offset for the extra two thou that we want to take out. In fact it'll be about 19 and a half tenths. So we'll uh, make that adjustment now and then put it back in the hole and, and it will go to finish then. You can see after 7 thou that the bore still hasn't cleaned up. If you look at the 8 o'clock position down there, you'll see it at the top. See the dark patch? I can actually measure that. little pocket if you want to call it so that's right on size of where we're going it's three tenths under the size of what we're in so that should clean it so I want 4.259 eight and a half tenths we are a tenth and a half too small. Better to be small than big. I'll just do the same four tenths board adjustment on this one.
What do you want it to be? Five, nine, eight, five. Now I'm going to add, we added four tenths bore size compensation. And like I said before, we're still breaking in these new stones. Pretty much all the die came, I uh, got some of these corners down here. You can see that's still only breaking in. There you go. So they're still not fully broken in, so it's probably why. In fact, it is why, because the stones that I have already broken in. So now we're going to do another three tenths ball comp and keep, keep pooping up on it. But if you, I want to show you when we make a ball comp, this is what we just entered. This is the previous ball comp we did, and this is our total ball comp we did. So it accumulates everything so we know from where we snugged it, which is when the hone head Slugged expands. Up, yeah. yeah, I lost the word, but expands into the cylinder so it knows how big the cylinder is. From there, we've added a foul nine tenths. And then you can still see here where we're going and where we're going to. And remember when we hone that? Yeah. We took 30 hours out of a four cylinder block on took, the old machine. It took an hour. It took, yeah, a hole. We've just done nine thou, a few tenths out of these holes in the space of what, like? Ten minutes. Yeah, if, if even that. that. Yeah, like Almost. eight minutes, I would say. I just want to be precise. What do you want? Choosing the stones? Yeah. Eventually we'll get a new a second hone head, which we'll have our finished stones in. This hone head's like six grand, so not right yet. <laughs> what about that, though? So now this is our finished stones. This isn't by size or stock removal, this is by time and load. And why is it by time and load? Because all we want to do is not the pizza. Determining there's a trial and error, much trial and error, but about seven and a half seconds of this particular stone and only four percent low is just going to have to make the pizza. And then I'm just going to sort of finish you off. Eight, seven and a half. You can see that it's only like four percent low. And then four kilometers? Yeah. You can check. So this is our profile on See the numbers of the last ones that we have. This is not a camera that reads crosshatch. This reads surface finish. This little tiny stylus thing here. Brad at QMP makes this little holder. He makes this little silver tray as well. He's the guy that makes that measuring center we use. Clever dude. That locks it in the bore, so we used to have to just stand there and hold it or tilt this 90 degrees and, and let it rest there as a pain in the ass. So, now that little stylus that I showed you will, will retract up slowly and then down slowly. And you'll see that it'll read the valleys, the RK, which is the core roughness, and the peaks, which are these little above the line. And these different numbers that we get different engines get different numbers for different fuels turbo non-turbo nitrous they all get different stuff so we're good on the valleys we'll knock the peak off a little bit more and then the peak will come down the valley will probably come down a touch and then the arcane number will come down and then they'll be perfect so the one on the right is finished, and the one on the left isn't. Yeah. And you can clearly feel that Sometimes the one on the right is way smoother. If you hold a rack yeah. and do it with the rack. I mean, you can hear it. Yeah, you can hear it, yeah. Wait, the door's making it. Better. Yeah, it's way louder on the And that's right. not me pushing harder or anything, that's just... That's crazy. I mean, what is that? You can see the No, I'm saying like, isn't that funny? Like, yeah. such, like what? Friction. Micro inches. <laughs> That's what you got on. <laughs> Ask your mom. 
Thế cứu thằng Hạc nữa For this engine, turbo alcohol only I don't know if you can see a picture of it So this is a, a surface finish reader Yeah, profilometer, Michi Tua make it It's badass And all it does is read the surface finish We don't care about RA when we're doing cylinders Because RA is just a roughness average we don't care about the roughness average, that's why we're only looking at the RK, the RPK and the RVK. The RZ is a tool that we use, um, it's a mean from low to high, um, and that's what we use to to get, while we're going for our processes to know, oh right, we're at this. Yeah. We know now this is the kind of RZ I want before I do my finished job yeah. kind of thing. So you see, 62, 16, yeah. 49. So it's... it's uh, valleys, peaks, and then the RK is where the, the core of yeah. yeah. So no RA on there at all. Yeah. You could, we, we turn it on and off in here. If we do a deck surface or a cylinder, um, sorry, not a cylinder. If we do a deck, a cylinder head deck surface or, or a deck surface of a block, then we'll just go into parameters here and, and we'll put the RA on. Yeah. That's oh. our final numbers. That's the final number for that cylinder. Perfect. So th this is basically it, guys. We, uh, well, Steph, Steph honed the Volkswagen cylinders, and he's got the surface finish that he's happy with. Um, Steph doesn't really like being on camera, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and uh, we'll see you next time. Putting the stones in the correct order. Can I film with that? <laughs> <laughs>